Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and please do not answer the WhatsApp hustlers on the feed. I do not do readings. Okay, maybe later, I don't know, but I've got to get myself a, a blue check mark or something because I think they, they do have it for Facebook and I haven't done that yet. Okay, so let's get on with it. Today, free speech bites back, uh, even behind closed doors because they've turned on each other. Um, and also, I'm wondering about the bullied staff and how they're healing. That healing vibes from South Park. Yes, to South Park. Uh, Ed Sheeran has spoke out saying that he did not uh, turn down performing for the coronation. Probably Adele fits in there also. Uh, that was a PR stunt with the assassination attempt on them. That was a PR stunt as well. And so, yeah, they're just turning on each other at this point in time. Uh, so kind of interesting. It's kind of what happens. I mean, when you have a codependent relationship like that built on built on sand, as some people have said, there's no solid foundation. So it's going to fall apart. It's just quicksand at this point in time. So let's get to the healing vibes of, of the uh, bullied staff. The bullied staff. Let's get the healing vibes. What's going on? How are they feeling? How are they feeling and what are they thinking about Megan and Harry and things coming full circle, really? It really is coming full circle for them. I'll take the first card here. We have here devil energy. So that is devil energy that they feel is going on right now. So it's the devil they're talking about, how there was no negotiation with the temperance. Temperance upright is balance and moderation, avoiding extremes here. Too many hostilities. They were very toxic. Everything was out of control. Total disharmony. Uh, the pair is sick. Very toxic people. It's like the fallen angel devil card. At the bottom of the deck, I have here, <clears throat> we have here, uh, go, leaving. Uh, they did not want to stick around. They got on their horse and left. So that emotional bond or whatever was there fell apart. It was emotional manipulation. And nothing was really truly um, uh, connection. The connection just wasn't there. Uh, so basically, anytime you see a cup in reverse, you're looking at very moody energy, very vindictive energy, emotional, you know, instability energy, uh, you know, uh, emotional blackmail as well. So just, you know, really toxic energy. I'm just going to go because I feel it and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to say here, yeah, this is out in the cold. They definitely feel like they are outcasts. Megan and Harry have a lacking mindset is a challenging position because I would say they don't feel that they're capable of recognizing it because it's a challenge for them to even recognize um, that they are out and they're trying to get back in. They're, they're doing everything they can. So they see it for what it is, that they're nothing but hardship and that they're trying to figure out what's my purpose. They definitely had a lacking mindset. And uh, basically also that's why they also left. And then they were kind of out in the cold because they, they ended up hooking up and working for this devil energy with this lacking mindset, also an inner energy with just not being able to negotiate anything. There is no negotiation with someone who's that dark. Uh, the focal point here is the four of wands and uh, they wanted a, they thought they would get a stable work environment because uh, four of wands is built on solid because it's, it's a solid uh, number here because it's all about being grounded because it's a four. And then being a wand, they were excited about starting this new job. They were excited about being in the environment with them. Uh, they wanted it. They, they were hoping for the best, the celebration, uh, you know, joy, uh, joy after hard work, well-earned breaks, you know, the full flow of life, connecting with others, you know. So they were really, they actually wanted it. They, they were hoping for the best is what they were. But they ended up getting nothing but a burden and saying no. This it became a heavy, heavy burden on them. And uh, more than likely, the devil energy came out because they were just too difficult to work with. So they just didn't want to, so they said no. But the, the feelings in the situation, the hopes and the feelings, the, you know, the focal point there was, was really trying to make it work. But they were impossible to work with. So they came to a judgment. This is cause and effect, uh, getting what you deserve. So I would say Megan and Harry thought that the devil energy was what they told them. Well, you're getting what you deserve. No, I think you're getting what you deserve and you're too much of a burden. So it became kind of a push-pull, I feel. 
And so Megan and Harry basically got what they deserved. So uh, that in the past position was they also thought that there would be balance and equilibrium uh, in the relationship and that they could be, it would be a good work environment, but they found out otherwise. Uh, going into the future, they see that they got exposed. This is the liar, the thief card, the person who works against you, trying tricks uh, against someone who works against you. Uh, so they basically felt that they were not good to work with, that they were just too many, too many lies going on, too many secrets, hoping things wouldn't be noticed. Uh, this is your thief in the night. This is your person who will always work against you. This is so they're working against the royal family. They were working against um, their own employees. Uh, just constant shady, shady character deeds. This is the shady character card. And so basically seeing that they're going to get busted eventually. So basically they knew they were working with shady characters is how they felt. Um, next card here is uh, in reverse is realizing that they have an in inability to go inward. Uh, the hermit goes inward. He, he reflects, he goes inward, he goes quiet. He's willing to become lonely and all of that. So they realized they were unwilling to go inward. They weren't willing to take on a new perspective at all. They weren't able to, um, you know, even, uh, it was just too rigid, basically. Everything was rigid. There was a lot of fear. Uh, there was loneliness working for them. They also realized that the pair was very lonely and very paranoid. Uh, there was just a lot of fear in that situation and uh, that because they, they could not see themselves. Uh, they could not see themselves that they were the devil pair who were lying. Uh, just total inability. Um, and so they wanted to return to the outside world, but feeling very anxious about probably letting go and distancing themselves from them. Uh, they felt very vulnerable. There was a lot of solitude in the job. Uh, because Megan kept had to keep eye, you know, in terms of solitude, in terms of being around other people that can witness and see what's going on is what I'm getting at. Uh, and also Megan and Harry were unable to uh, more than likely go inward and, and take a look at themselves. And they were questionable also, where were they going to go next? You know, where do I go from here? Uh, not knowing their path uh, for the employees. I got, I'm kind of lost here. I, you know, I thought I, I knew what I was doing here. But it just turned out that they were just thieves. Outside influence here was um, we have here the Emperor card in reverse. They they cut out. Uh, the Emperor card is the royal family card. Uh, King Charles here being put in reverse. Charles not talking to them. Uh, problems with authority in terms of the Emperor, in terms of royalty. Uh, basically abusive. Uh, the, Megan and Harry were always claiming they were abusive, domineering, uh, but other people saw that Megan and Harry were actually the ones who were domineering with a negative presence. Uh, people that probably saw them, what they probably said about them was that they were domineering with a negative presence and just this whole dictator authoritarian kind of energy. Um, and so basically I think they put that out there, uh, into the, uh, that book, um, the courtiers. So yeah, very domineering, very negative presence and just really abuse of power uh, is how that they were. And then they were uh, putting the royal family in reverse and not being able to, um, you know, allow structures to stay in place, uh, not going along with protocol, uh, not respecting uh, the, the monarchy, disrespect of the monarchy, going into failure mode, uh, can't respect any authority figure whatsoever because they thought they were the authority figure. Uh, they were the dictators of everything. They dictated all their lies. They dictated the shady, the shady moves and inability to look at themselves. And, and they created their own, uh, they dictated their own uh, downfall here with too many burdens. They dictated their own negative energy with being outcasts and being uh, devil energy going from, you know, the, the light angels to the devil angels and, you know, thinking and, and trying to sell it that they could dictate that, oh, you're going to love working here. But in reality, no, you're, you're working for shady people here. And so the hopes and fears here is that red flags here. 
uh, the Two of Swords. It just created a major red flag here, and they created they had to, to come to a, a difficult decision here uh, and take the blindfold off because they realized that there was no crossroad with this situation. It became nothing but a red flag that they could see uh, in that situation and facing the fantasy, the illusion, the lies. Uh, that were being painted for them and not really what really wanting to partake. So they uncovered the lies here, hoping that they would be noticed. But at that point in time, they weren't being noticed because it would be in this position. So hoping that those lies would get unfolded and unmasked. Uh, they knew that there were a lot of lies going on and they were just waiting for them to, to be unmasked. So I would think that South Park was kind of a huge relief for them. And so then they ended up having to go on a new mission, a new path. Uh, and leave basically and take a risk um, and had to un take the blindfold off because they saw so many red flags there uh, that that you know, it was a difficult crossroad and they had to make the decision to turn their back on the emotions of the of the dictatorship here they were under and the lack of self awareness inability to look at themselves they couldn't they could not get them to see things any other way so these employees these these you know and these individuals who were bullied uh ended up taking a new risk and leaving they had to leave and and take a chance on themselves and go on a new mission for themselves uh feeling pretty green pretty um inexperienced hoping that it you know it would work out uh they also felt that when they took the job that it was a it was a, a gamble let's see if this works out i'll i'll, I'll give it a go i you know uh let's let's uh, hope that we get beginner's luck here uh, with this couple, uh, but they ultimately ended up having to leave um, and uh, take the risk on themselves. Uh, so that's what they did here. And then I'm going to anchor this with this because she was not nurturing. Megan has no nurturing energy. She was always ready to explode on them, just major explosions. So out of her explosions, they just got the hell out of there. I'm taking a risk on myself and I'm leaving. I'm just going to go on, go on a journey here for myself and do what, what works for me and taking my loyal dog with me. And then we have here uh, for them, unfortunately, we have the page of pentacles in reverse. So there's a situation with the children. Uh, they also have an inability to learn from life lessons. Uh, page of pentacles upright can learn from life lessons. They can grow, they push forward. They learn from their mistakes. This position here, they don't learn from their mistakes. They never do. Um, and once again, it's facing that moon, the fantasy illusions, you know, the lies, the deception and lying to themselves and believing it, you know, and just faced with just too many obstacles. And at first they believed their lies. They believed their lies. They thought she would be nurturing, you know, okay, we can face this together. We can grow together and take this chance. But they realized it was all lies built on lies. And she truly was not nurturing and it was nothing but pain and melancholy with the bird there and just nothing but explosion and any passion was left behind and the growth uh, was behind them and being able to transform because we see that death there uh, was not possible uh, and any growth just wasn't going to happen. So it was like it was they were dead in the water being with her. And then we have here also King of Pentacles in reverse. You know, Harry, Harry's not the guy who has it all he, just because he's a prince. He doesn't have it all. He's not able to manifest it all. You know, he doesn't have the, the, the capability to. It's also the scam artist position, an uncaring partner. Uh, there's also dominance here, lack of consistency, uncharitable, cold-hearted, uh, very risky lifestyle choices, callousness, um, and carelessness with their body also. Uh, just a lack of consistency. They're not, they didn't feel like good providers and protectors of their employees. Just very selfish, bully, bully, bully type energy. Total scam artistry for money. So they saw the whole scam while working for them. They were nothing but scam con artists. And let's get to the center of the deck here. Center of the deck here we have here, because I have to read these upright. We have here that uh, Markle is the ice queen, very cold, cruel, calculating, cutting words, um, queen of swords in reverse. So she's a very unkind personal person, you know, she's very gossipy. So she was always talking about Kate probably and, and William and the Royal family and how she's going to deceive them. Very malicious, very overly judgmental. She will cut you out in a heartbeat. She's very rigid and cold, incredibly dishonest, lots of lies, total extremism. 
thinking that she's super smart in what she's doing with her deception, but she's stupid. She makes foolish mistakes, and there was nothing but challenges and struggles here. And uh, basically, they just wanted to forgive and move on and make the announcement uh, that they were leaving. So they made a major announcement that they were leaving because of the, ch the competition and struggles with them. And she's just nothing but a nice queen here. So really more of a problem with Megan than Harry, but Harry completely just not super uh, uh, involved. He was not able to grow, uh, could not give good advice, didn't have the wisdom because King of Pentacles upright has wisdom. He's earnest and hardworking. Harry was quite lazy, you know, very lazy. Markle was the uh, the one wearing the pants, obviously, as we know. He just was not stable. He wasn't very calculated in his um, ways about how he was going to protect and provide and very irresponsible. So that's how they viewed it. So I think they're feeling some, some glee here from the situation that um, things are being um, told as they are and it gives them a sense of relief. Let's see what's underneath this judgment card, making announcement about the charities. Yeah, that's about the charities. So uh, there's some judge, they have some judgment and some opinions uh, about the charity and that basically it was very unfulfilling with the four of cups. Uh, nothing was good enough, uh, a lot of apathy. So they didn't really like working for even the people that worked for the charity for R12, uh, just, uh, dis indifference a lot of indifference attitude no matter what they did in terms of work uh was met with indifference it's not enough it's not enough uh very empty inside so their charitable behavior and behaving as though they're charitable uh was a lie was another lie because they just were very indifferent to even doing charitable acts it was all nothing but battle of the wills here and struggle so very displeased working for them i would think they're very pleased with um with with the show here so it just brings out more of the truth of what they are and so that is the energy on the bullied staff and getting the healing vibes from south park Let's get some fun cards out. And we have here falseness. Yeah, it was all false. The whole relationship, she's like a, she's a cat. She's a wild cat, but yes, very false. And you can see that falseness there. So it was just a very false relationship. That's sticking out. I will take it. False with the merchant, merchandising and helping people just basically she was selling people she was false she was a merchant she was selling people she was everything about that she was trying to sell was false she really had no heart in anything and she was also a false friend because it's it's aspected to the friend so she'd act like she was a friend but really she was false and then we have here and waiting she was always waiting for something um always ambitious waiting but all her selling her merchandising falseness, uh, false friend, false merchandising, whatever she's selling is false. It's not really reality. And she was always in wait mode. What's coming up next? So this is someone they felt was very anxious, always waiting for the next best thing. What can I merchandise next? What can I sell next? Because it's all false. And then I'm going to act like I'm real friendly in the situation while I'm doing it. Like I am your friend and I care about you, but it's all false. So that's how that pans out. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.